everybody, it is my turn to review this all-new Jurassic World. Technically, it's Hammond Collection. It's labeled as Hammond Collection. This probably won't, won't, won't be that long of a review. But this is the... I don't even know what this is called. I'll figure it out. I know it's the Comic-Con exclusive set. I'm surprised we didn't get anything else. Hmm. I guess it's just called, I'm just going to call it San Diego Comic-Con Jimmy Buffett set. Oh, it includes the batteries. Okay. Sweet. Alright, so there is a barcode. I will provide it even though probably won't work for anything. Alright, let's put this box off to the side. So this kind of comes off. I'm not going to really keep the box. I am going to just probably keep it, but not leave it in the box, if y'all know what I mean by that. So, also, the back of the box is a handle, but I have no idea how to really put it together. I'm also a big idiot, so I really don't know. Oh, I keep. I gotta find a way to. Ooh. They put a lot of tape on this. Okay, so it opens from the back. There we go. So we open this up from, from the top. I. My. Oh, what well, the. Phone might keep falling down, y'all. So, you get that. Here are the stand. Um, I will kind of do, do the buttons for you. So, this is how I like Dick, damn it. I'm so sorry about that, y'all. Actually, this might be a better. No, I need something heavy. Let's cut this open. So these are the little stands that go for the dimorphodon. There really isn't a whole lot to really go over other than probably the human, even though I don't really review a whole lot of human characters. Oh, I didn't even, I just saw the tape. I'll cut that open real quick. Yeah, there's more tape. Alright. Whoopsie. So sorry about that, y'all. Didn't think that would be that loud. There we go. We have the base. Let's get our Jimmy Buffett out. There. There's a strap. Alright, let's get rid of the uh, plastic bands. So, you put your Jimmy Buffett. Let's fix his feet real quick. So, this figure really isn't. Uh, what is it? We know how Hammond Collections, what is it, joints and articulation works. Oh, this is going to be fun. I'm trying to keep this salt shaker piece from, and I literally nearly lost it, y'all. So apparently this is going to, I hear a lot of people are having trouble with this one. And ignore my stuffy nose I have. So, Mr. Buffett here is... Actually, I think this goes the other way. I'm not sure. Because he looks like he's leaning back. There we go. So, I'm going to have to find a way to keep that intact. 
with the set. And that's all the way over here. So, now let's get out the part that I assume everybody has been wanting. And that are, that, that is the Dimorphodons. I'm glad it came with three. It's always nice to have a whole swarm of these. And I love how they painted the teeth, but could they really have painted the tongue? And, th and this probably would have been a very good figure. I get a Tama collection, and I, I know the original one, um... I'm just going to review one. I'm going to put the other two on the shelf. On, not on the shelf. On the display. So, all you do is... There's a hole on the figure. Let's turn the flash up. There is a hole there, and I think it's pretty obvious as to what you got to do. Um, yeah. Sorry about that. Is that supposed to be kind of tilted? Oh, it's the salt sugar. I thought something broken here. Okay. All right, let's go over the detailing. This is the same little Dimorphodon mini that we get from, I think it came with a mercenary and there's a different, like a gray one. With a Baryonyx Battle Damage set. It came with a, a, a Battle Damage Baryonyx. It just had like paint on it as Battle Damage instead of actual pieces that were a panel. But yeah, they painted the eyes. They painted the face. They painted half the wing. I guess it looks pretty good actually. For a small little mini like this, this is actually really good for what how big this is. You also have painted teeth, which really surprised me. However, there are no painted tongue. That probably would have made it look a lot better, but it is a small figure, so there's really not a whole lot to really do. All right, let's put this. Oh, that's cool. It kind of goes up and down and everything. That's cool. All right. So, I guess you push this. Push the button at. Let's put the salt shaker somewhere so I don't lose it. I guess that's all you do. Let me see the instructions. Yeah, you just... Uh, spin it. You know... Like that. That's all you really do with it. I'm just gonna keep that there. I'm actually gonna get a piece of little fun tack or mounting putty and put that like off behind it so it can't really be seen that well. Does that one go back up? You yeah, want the one in the back up. Let me turn that. There we go. That's going to be the end of this review. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I know I'm not the best reviewer, so I'm going to get off of here. This is going to be the last Jurassic review for probably about two, three weeks. Um, I bet you the next item we'll find is probably the new Danger Pack Wave. And there's only going to be the two. So whenever that comes out, I will review it. And whenever I can find it, I will review it. Let's move that little guy. There we go. All right. Have a great day. I'll see you guys later. Peace.